so hello and welcome back to the gorilla biker and today we're gonna talk uh, about something that recently cropped up um, I made a video a couple of days ago days ago um, that spoke about you know stuff I need to I, I would not I need to what I would like to get like lights from my garage uh, wireless microphone all that stuff and I got a I got a message from someone on Instagram who I won't name because we had it we had a good conversation about it and they kind of admitted they were being a, a bit weird about the whole thing but they they basically sent me a message and said hey you know I don't really watch your channel that much anymore because I feel like you've fallen behind technologically um, to some other people out there and I was like okay cool you know um, I'm interested you know fill me in what's going on why why have you stopped watching. And, you know, they, they named a few channels who I won't name because I have no issue, I have no issues with said channels. I think they make good content. Um, they just have more more money than me, but that's not their fault. They've earned it. Um, so, you know, that's, that's how life goes. Uh, but basically they were like, you know, your GoPro is old, your DJI Osmo is old, you've had the same voice recorder for how long? Um, you know, and you're just not, you're not keeping up with, te with the technology. And as I pointed out to them, I am very much a hobbyist YouTuber. I've never actually earned a penny profit-wise uh, from this channel ever. And it would be quite a long time before I ever did. And that literally doesn't bother me for like even a split second. Because that is not why I make YouTube videos like I have mentioned before. I make YouTube videos because I enjoy making YouTube videos. They make me happy. I like creating videos that interest people. Um, it's always very rewarding when a video does actually, you know, do well and, and lots of people watch and lots of people like it. So that that's why I make them. I don't really ever expect to earn money off this. It's just, I love, I love motorcycles and I kind of like making videos. You know what I mean? It's, um, it's, it's just part of my life now, which is kind of cool. Um, it's part of my, it's part of who I am nearly, you know, and that's, I, I, I think that's pretty cool. I like it. You know, I'm not... I would. You'll never hear me complain about um, making videos the way I do. Because I enjoy it. Um, but anyway, so this, this person, you know, was talking to me. And they were saying, you know, um, all that falling behind stuff. And I we, we had it out. And I explained that, you know, these cameras are really expensive. Um, I don't have any sponsorships or anything. The only people who actively support me other than the people watching and liking the videos and helping me earn money from YouTube um, which obviously all of you also actively support me every time you hit that like button and whatnot and watch a video uh, are also my patrons you know that's that's kind of the, the the step away from YouTube and I don't even mention that too much because I really don't feel like I deserve a patron I'm not even joking about that you know some people are like oh you're just saying that I really I'm really not but you believe what you want it doesn't bother me I know, I know who and what I am. Ooh, slippy, oh, it's a fork, a melted fork. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I am. One second, I want to clean my camera. Wait, yeah, no, it's clean. Well, you know, that's, um, that's something that has kind of got me thinking. And I think that a lot of people, and you see a lot of people starting up channels and stuff, and they try to emulate people. And don't get me wrong, I have borrowed from a lot of different channels um, in making my videos because some of them have great ideas, but I don't try to copy them, I just try to borrow ideas from them. Like, hey, I can, I, I have an idea to make something like that work on my channel and then I'll try to do it. And sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. For instance, I would love to go back to going to eaty places um, and like that playlist is literally called Food Playlist in honor of Sub D. Sub D, for those of you who don't know, is a suburban delinquent who used to ride around to lots of food places and eat at them. <laughs> Who's going? <laughs> Kids who like bikes. I hope they're bikers in the future. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I, think, uh, I think that's that's something that I have definitely done for instance I borrowed from things but I think too many people try to get into a game of like anonymous one-upsmanship um, which honestly is the most pointless thing you can do 
because most people don't care obviously some people care because one person took the time to, to actually message me and say i think your cameras are too outdated so i don't want to watch your videos anymore i'm like eh. dude it's published in, in 4k on youtube it's 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 pretty good you know what i mean is it do you have the same fidelity as you have off the newest gopro no is my audio as good as it could be no do i have the money to invest in that stuff right now no do i hope to have it in the future to, to upgrade it yeah but that's for myself you know what i mean that says for like self gratification of having better uh like tools to work with you know what i mean it's not it's not because i want to earn more money off it or get more subscribers or anything like that. i just want to i just want to kind of do better um like i said entirely for myself it's a very selfish thing uh, i want to go in to see how these houses are coming on because we, we stopped in here in a recent video and i like this is just something i do and i don't know am i weird uh, feel free to tell me but i like to go in and be like hey how's this this uh new this new place coming along oh look see there was no houses here the last time that's really cool um that's actually cool so they're shooting up they're shooting up i won't live here much longer though we're actually moving from greenville somewhere else because toaster got a job over near rally so we're going to have to work kind of halfway um between the two or live halfway between the two so that it all works out for us they are flying up oh look at the geese oh my god hello geeses gooses the big gooses oh that's so cool i like geese I mean, I don't actually know, do I like geese? Because they're very angry creatures and kind of scary in general. But they're really cool. Um, but yeah, I think I feel that too many people now try uh, compete with other people. And I don't know why, you know. It's, it's, it's kind of like the video I just made. Um, you know, that some people obviously feel very strongly about my, my, my V-Strom. Um, I didn't buy my V-Strom um, for like videos or for subscribers or anything like that i bought my vstrom because i wanted a vstrom um if it got me views or, or subscribers sure that's a bonus but also I, that's not why i bought it i bought it for me um you know i see people going out and spending money on on brand new bikes because that's the bike that's going to get clicks and uh, if it's not your job that's really not a good idea if it's your job to make YouTube videos on bikes, then fair enough. But if it's not your job to make YouTube videos on bikes, then you really probably shouldn't put that money into things that you don't actually need, if that makes sense. Um, I know that doesn't always make sense to everyone, but that's uh, I'm just trying to explain it, I suppose, in that I, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, you know, I think people kind of put themselves into financial difficulty starting off channels trying to get the latest and the greatest gear when realistically honestly what people watch your channel for is what you're talking about uh, genuinely i would not have any subscribers if people were looking at my videos for like the latest and greatest because i don't have the latest and greatest stuff i don't oh no it's all fucked up yeah that's something that i really feel is is a thing that you know people people try to they try to outdo themselves nearly because honestly no one else is looking at that genuinely no one else really not that they don't care um but it's just not what i think everyone is looking for um i think most people want to watch something that and honestly what i what i feel is a good video is if someone doesn't even need to watch the video if they can just listen if it's interesting them from that alone and i've always said i think audio is more important than like really good video um obviously video is important too i'm not saying it's not but it's i think audio is 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 most important the story you're telling you know what i mean um it is so humid today it's actually not as hot as yesterday but it's 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 damp it's damp out here in any case um let me well let me know do you do you agree number one bye gooses you big cute canada gooses i think they're canada gooses um let me know what you think do you think can people overreach um especially when they start off youtube and they just try to go big um i don't know i like the thing is be 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 your own person you know um and that's kind of how i do always have done my videos is i am just me regular regular michael I don't do anything super fancy. 
I don't do anything super special. I just I just like making videos. I like making videos about bikes. Um, and you know, it, it even shows that some of my best do videos that, that have done best have been using very basic equipment. Um, and then obviously I did crack out more of the big guns when I used to do bike reviews. But again, that's something that I did for myself. I never, other than the, the YouTube ad revenue, I did not ever get paid by Freemans or, or, or um, any of, anyone I made bike videos for. Um, number one, I didn't want to. And number two, it's just, it, like, I, I made those videos that good for myself. It's something I am, I'm very proud of, you know what I mean? And I feel like, I feel like more people need to start off there. Um, it's the same with cars. Oh, cars over here are crazy. You know, people, people, people pay, like, the half a value of a house for a car, and then they're paying it off for, like, a quarter of their adult working life. And that just does not make sense to me. Fair enough if you really genuinely can afford it, then fair play to you, well done, I wish I could, you know, I can't, but that's okay too. I didn't mean to come this way yet, I think I can go left just down here though, yes, right here. But you know that's that's kind of I'd be interested to hear what other people think about that the statement that person made is do you do you think that I mean the quality of the gear makes uh, that big a difference to the channel I mean obviously it makes some difference obviously if I was out here with like an original GoPro it would look pretty terrible and I would understand people being like oh, I don't really want to watch this it's it's really far behind but I think you know if you're someone who feels the need to upgrade your GoPro every year and again if you can afford it by all means do it but if you're someone who especially is doing a youtube channel and you buy your gear make that gear work for you know what i mean like if it, you could still buy a gopro hero 7 in my opinion and make perfectly good videos you do not need to go buy the latest and greatest if you can't afford it because like i said people will subscribe for your personality i haven't gone down this way before let's go this way people will subscribe for your personality um and the, like the video quality will come, you know what I mean? Learn, learn your craft. Don't go spend a crazy amount of money. Um, you will probably regret it at some point, especially if you don't actually really like it. Greenville produce. How interesting. Commercial industrial lots. Can I live there? Can I just put a trailer on it? I want to own my own house one day, but I probably won't. Houses, houses are expensive. Motion industries. That sounds interesting. I wonder what type of motion they sell. So if they sell motorcycle motion. I mean... I, like I, I just want to make it clear. I do not do YouTube to earn money. So at no point am I ever going to chase trends. And I think that's kind of it. it it's, it's, that's what I meant to get to. It's people, I think, spend too much time chasing trends these days that uh, really and truly they don't actually care about. And then they end up sad and not happy with what they've done because they've spent a shed load of money on, you know, this trend that they were chasing. And they're like, okay, they don't get any fulfillment out of it. You know what I mean? That's, it's kind of important to try to identify that within yourself. I mean, I found out, thankfully, pretty early when I was doing YouTube videos that what I get fulfillment from is interacting with people. Um, not from buying shit and making videos on the latest and greatest shit. Don't get me wrong, if I ever could afford to, I would buy way more bikes. Um, but that's because, like I said, I love bikes. That's a nice Lexus. That's a nice van. I want a van. Or a van or a truck. So I could do even more bike stuff. Like myself and Tooster were going on a vacation, as they call it over here. Holidays, as normal people call it. Um, and unfortunately I can't bring the bikes because I don't have a truck or whatever else, but it would it's a pity because I feel like I would have gotten to make some really good videos had I been able to bring a bike, so that's definitely one of the things I'm going to work on um, for the future as well as getting a, a truck or a van or something I can transport my bikes in. Um, just so, you know, we can travel as a, as a unit, but I'd still have my bikes. Um, because, like, I, I don't know, do other people do this, but I, I don't think it's fair to have someone else who's just, just drive the bike. 
or just drive the car and you ride the bike. That's kind of kind of sucks. Oh, hey, that's a road I could have went down. Let's go down there. I don't know if I've been down there before, so let's do it. I like when I'm just out riding around on the bike, talking random poo to people on the internet. Oh, that's glass. And riding down roads. I actually think I have been down this road before. I'm not sure. Let's go down anyway. No outlet. Ooh. Oh, it's right beside the um, the big road, the highway, highway, highway. But yeah, that's kind of that's kind of all I wanted to say is you know if if you're looking at my channel and you're wondering why I don't upgrade all these things and you know why I didn't shell out and buy the latest and greatest brand new bike uh, it's because that's not who i am as a person uh, it's not who i will ever be as a person um i buy the bikes that i am interested in whether or not they're gonna be guaranteed clicks i really don't care about that i just wanted to buy a bike that i would enjoy riding that i could do the stuff i wanted to do on it um yeah, I mean, hopefully some people appreciate that out there. I know, well, not hopefully. I know plenty of people appreciate that out there. And plenty of people do appreciate the V-Stram. And I appreciate all of you. So, that's kind of that's kind of all I wanted to say. Very simple video. But, you know, that's that's kind of it. And to people out there who are wondering why I didn't upgrade every year um, and stuff, I'll, I'll be straight with you. I'm not going to mince words. I can't afford it. <laughs> I... Like I said, I don't earn money from YouTube. It's never been profitable. Um, I'm fine with that. I make videos because I enjoy the interaction I've made. I have made, like, a lot of people I would consider, like, really good friends now also through YouTube. And that's worth far more than money. Not to sound too sentimental or anything, but it is worth far more than money. Um, so, very happy that I did that. Hello. But, um, yeah, that's kind, of, that's kind of all I really have to say about it. It's just... If you are someone who plans on starting a channel, do it for you. Don't chase the trends unless it's something that you really want to do as a profession, in which case do, but don't break yourself financially in doing so because that I guarantee you it, you'll regret it in future, in the future. And yeah, uh, if you've watched, thank you very much for watching. As always, a very special thank you to all of my patrons. I love and appreciate you all. And a lot of my patrons have become what I would hope are lifelong friends. So that's also really cool. Um, I genuinely get on with like a shit ton of them really well. And I hope to meet up with as many as I can and ride bikes in the, in, together in the future. Uh, past and present uh, patrons, by the way, not just the current ones. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. Thanks again for watching. Adios. Outro crew. Why do people not like my poor zoom recorder? This thing has been a workhorse. It, it occasionally fails and does stupid stuff, but in general, it's been great. Um, I, yeah, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. You know, I will eventually upgrade stuff for the garage, but like I said, that's for me. It's for my frustrations with not being able to record the videos I want to record. Let me know what you think. If you were to make YouTube videos, are you someone who thinks that you'd be affected by, you know, the latest and greatest and want to chase that, or are you just happy being you? Um, let me know. I'm happy being me. I don't think I've ever bought anything to please someone else ever. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, ju well, just please someone else, obviously. I've had discussions with people who I'm buying things with, and obviously you have to keep both people happy, but in general, I've kind of just... Money's hard to come by, you know what I mean? Buy what makes you happy. Do the things that make you happy with your money. It's, it's hard to earn. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. What do you think, Outro Crew? Buy Outro Crew.